Join me as I share my faith, explore fashion, and stumble on this road to empty nesthood. Road trip! Hey world, this is Sharice. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome to my channel. And please subscribe, because as you can see, y'all, come on. This is 27 subscribers, really? I need more than that. Bless a sister. Because I'm about to bless you with a word that I think that someone needs to hear. I believe that God led me to share this information with you so you can hear it and share it with someone else as well. As you know, with my channel, it's all about me sharing my faith. It's about me um, dabbling in fashion. And also, it's about me stumbling through this road to empty nesthood. So I'm here to share with you a faith nugget, something that I believe someone needs to hear, something that God blessed me with today, and I believe that someone else can be blessed with as well. So for those of you that know, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. I have four children, yes, four. I have a young adult, I'm BJ, hey BJ. He's 20 years old, he's in Germany, um, serving our country. I have a 19 year old, Donovan, what's up Don? Y'all know Donovan, because you see him all the time. He doesn't owe me any money anymore. I have a video about that. So I'm trying to get the music right for See that one. How he gave me my money and what the Lord did. Hey, okay. Um, and I have my twins, TNT, Taylor and Todd. What's up? Um, Taylor is my only princess and she, um, they both are seniors. And Todd is our prodigal son right now. <laughs> um, Anyone with, with kids, teenagers, you probably have gone through or, or are going through that stage where they want to go out there and do their own thing. They think they know more than you do. Blee, blee, blah, blah. Well, that's where Todd is right now. He's in a backslidden state. <laughs> but we're praying for him, and he will come back in just like BJ, Donovan, and Taylor did. See, Todd, it's all working together for your good. Well, anyway, I'm here to encourage you. I have four children, and being a mother, I've always wanted the best for them. What mother would not? I've wanted them to excel academically. I want them to excel in sports. I want them to excel um, socially. Um, most importantly, I've wanted them to be saved. I want them to live a life for Christ, even at this very young age. I wanted them to walk uprightly before Him. And I've prayed and believed God for that. I've prayed that they would be virgins until the day that they got married. And I don't see what's wrong with that. So, yeah. I mean, you guys think that's crazy to think that they would do that. Well, it's not crazy. It's lining them up with the Word of God. It's speaking it out there, putting it over them and believing God for that and teaching them and training them why God has asked us to do that, to refrain from sex. Well, anyway, God is still good. And um, to God be all the glory. So, as a mom, as a Christian, you know, I've had these expectations and standards for them. As an educator, because I am a teacher, I've also wanted them to um, do exceptionally well in school because I know that, that they need that in order to excel. Um, the first five years of their life, my kids were straight A students, all four of them. I mean, they were exceptional students. Um, they didn't have to put forth much effort in doing so. After moving um, here, and getting into middle and high school, things changed drastically. And it was hard for me as a parent, it was hard for me as an educator to watch their grades just, you know, fall. And what what was, what hurt the most was watching them not seem to care as much as they had before about getting good grades and doing their very best in school. So, um, that prayer that I had for them, I had a prayer, I don't know if I said it already, but that they would get four to six year scholarships to the school that God would have them go to. That they would also receive a stipend, you know, for um, their excellence in academics and, and, and going to this school. And that was my prayer. I prayed it over them daily, you know, to include the virgin prayer. So <laughs> they heard these prayers. I would pray over them all the time. Um, as time has gone on these last few years, I've kind of just thought that that prayer was just, the answer was no, you know. And honestly, I kind of got to the point when BJ first went to the military, I was so devastated. I did not want him to go into the military. I um, didn't quite understand because I felt like I had done all that God required. And I'm sure I could do more. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just saying I had raised them in the church. I had prayed over them. I had taught them um the things of God. I had been an example to them. I'm not perfect, but I've been an example to them. When I was wrong, I came back and told them I was wrong. Um, so for me, 
I felt like, why, you know, why is my child not excelling? Why is my child choosing not to excel the way I think that they should? You know, I, I want the blessing of the Lord. I want them to have the favor of God in their excel, in their academics, so they can be these things. Um, but God showed me that with BJ joining the military, he still very well could go get his degree. And the military was still paying for it because that's what they do. That's a benefit of joining the military. So I said, Lord, I thank you for showing me it doesn't have to be my way. So that's a tip right there, parents. Whatever your prayer is, it doesn't have to go the way you think it should go. God can still do it, okay? So just like with Abraham and Sarah, they thought, oh, well, let's make a child through someone else. God said, no, I'm going to do it my way. It's going to come through her the way I said. Don't worry about your age. I got you. So God showed me. It's still done. That prayer did not, did not fall to the ground. You know, it's still there, and I thank God for that. Um, we really thought that by us, you know, BJ going to the military, we knew Donovan didn't want to go. We thought he was going to, you know, really get together these last few years of his um, high school. And unfortunately, he did not. He chose to coast it out because he could, I guess. Um, Donovan had a wake up call when all of his friends left to go to college. And after he had to drive his girlfriend to college as well, he realized that, hey, I didn't get together. Needless to say, he's doing a year at the community college and he's very excited about going to transfer to a four year. What has really excited me about Donovan, because I've seen him grow in that area, I've seen him studying, I've seen him getting his tests done, I've seen him working hard. Um, he can work harder, but he's been working hard to be successful. But what has really touched me about him is that he has grown spiritually. He, I hear him speaking and praying um, and believing God for different things when it comes to his job, um, tithing and being faithful in that. I've heard him say, Mom, when I went to work today, um, the people thought we weren't going to get any tips. And I told them, I'm believing God we're going to get $60 or more. You know, I went and I touched all the tables, you know, and I believe God that all, every table will give a tip and this, that, and the other. So he's using his faith and that touched me because that's more important than him getting that education. I always I get to salvation is education. So get salvation is is most important. So it just warmed my heart and especially today at church, Bishop asked us all to stand up. <clears throat> We were getting ready to be dismissed, and I went on my post because I'm a greeter today. And Donovan um, was standing up, you know, him and Taylor were standing up, and Bishop was praying. And the kids pray, you know, my mom made me come here, I don't want to be here, yeah. But Donovan wasn't doing that today. He had his hands up in a, you know, a, a, a what do you call it, a reverence form, um, and his mouth moving, moving, his lips moving, and he was praying. I was like, wow, you know, God, those seeds are growing. I'm starting to see the vines, you know, the, the blossoms from all those years of prayer and believing God that my kids will walk uprightly with God. And that just really warmed my soul. And that's what I really wanted to let you know is that, parents, if you keep doing your part, you know, you keep doing what God tells you to do. I am a um, first grade teacher, and I tell my students all the time, stay in your lane, worry about you. That's a big enough job all by itself. And I think God tells us that sometimes too. too. If you just worry about you, do your part let me be God and do my job I'm not going for slumber I got this and that's what I've been having to learn my kids have helped me to pair up because let me tell you something my kids have been kids I mean real deal Holyfield kids I'm talking about Tom Cruise throw a party when your mom not here kids I'm talking about your phone ringing at three o'clock in the morning and it's the sheriff department saying can you come pick me up mom kids those are kind of kids I've been having to deal with um and they've helped me to parent out. They've helped me. I can't just throw them away. I have to love them through the situation. I have to have grace. I have to teach and train them. You know, okay, well, now that you've done this, here's your consequences. This is how you have to pay for that. This is how things work in the real world. You know, so God has taught me that if I just do my part, if I continue to love on them, airplane, jet, something. If I continue to love on them, if I continue to speak life into them, if I continue to pray over them, when I find, when I wake up in the middle of the night and I come around and I do my little rounds around the house and I see that somebody has left the window unlocked, why? Because they've left the house. I could go in a rage. I could start calling and texting people, but you know what I do? I call on him. I lock the doors back up because you're not getting back up in here on my watch. Then I pray, Father, cover that child. 
they they don't even know what they're doing, Lord God. They don't even realize that they're out from underneath your covering right now until I pray for them. Lord, you know they're not ready to die. Please don't let them die in their sin. I thank you that my house shall be saved, Lord God. Your word said that me and my house shall be saved. I start praying for them and I go back to bed and I let God worry about that. And I, you know, and I believe God's word. They're going to come home. I'm going to deal with them then. I'm going to parent up and deal with them and we'll, we're going to go from there. But I have to do my part. I got to continue to pray over them, cover them. I have to continue to be an example to them. I have to continue to read my word, to lead them, you know, the right way and trust that God's going to be God, you know, and then God is so good. He don't have to show me what he's doing, and how he's doing it. He can just say, Hey, I'm God. Just believe me and be gone. But every now and then, and really, honestly speaking, a lot more than, than you would know. He shows me it's working. Look at what I'm doing. Look at what he's doing. Look at how he's coming around. Look at the shift. And that, my friends, that is what I came to share with you. God is in control. Hold on, mom and dad. Hold on, sister and brothers. Hold on, aunties and uncles and grandmas. Whoever is the one that's there that's on the wall praying and believing God. Hold on, keep doing what you're doing and believe God and watch what God do. And let me just tell you one more thing before I go. The four to six year scholarship didn't happen the way I wanted it to, but guess what? Because of the sacrifices that my husband and I have made with my husband being in the military and me being a military spouse, my kids can go to any school in Texas for practically free. And because of my husband's retirement, they can get a good stipend too. Look at God. God will do it. It might not be your way, but God will do it, y'all. Hold on. All right, I got to go. I know you do too. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please share. Please subscribe. Get my view count up, y'all. Come on now. This was good. Y'all know it too. Comment below, okay? I love you guys. God loves you so much more. Be blessed. Thanks again for watching. You already know what to do. Subscribe, like, and share.